What's up guys, Cameron Johnson here. I know it's been quite a while since I've made a video. I've probably said that in my last video. Anyway, I wanted to show you the state of my pedal collection. Um, I'm not really collecting pedals anymore per se, but uh, every once in a while I'll see one that catches my eye, but um, you know, I'm not actively searching out pedals. I've kind of got everything I've, I've wanted um, over, you know, over the years and I feel, I feel pretty good about things. So let's, let's give things uh, a, a look, shall we? We'll start with the Boss Collection. There's my Wazacraft hat. That's, you know, if you're an, you're an OG, if you have a Wazacraft hat. But um, here are the sort of, I guess you call those the, speed of OGs from the OG pedals. Some of the harder to find ones right up top. Some of my favorites. You know, the slow gear isn't super usable, in my opinion. Um, Spectrum is... Kind of overrated as an EQ, but it's kind of cool. But um, overall, you know, the rest are pretty awesome, I have to say. Some really amazing designs. Um, you know, Boss just knew what they were doing, and they still do. So, uh, as you can see, these are on the top shelf, of course. Everything else, there's no real rhyme or reason. I have stuff stacked on top of each other. Um, I know that's kind of sacrilege, but I've had, I've had a lot of these for quite a while. So, you know. I've also noticed that these pedals, a lot of them have gone up in value quite a bit. Um, but, you know, it's not something I really pay attention to. I, I was kind of shocked, to be honest with you. But here's the second shelf. Some standouts. Um, let's see. Boss DSD2, which is my favorite. A lot of you guys probably know that if you have been following this channel for any, any length of time. The FB2 is a great pedal. That tr uh, TR2 Tremolo. I got modded by Robert Keeley, sent it in myself. And the Hyper Fuzz, great pedal, as is the Dynamic Filter. They're all great. I mean, I wouldn't keep anything I didn't like. So I should also mention that, you know, I used to have at one point every boss pedal ever, or every compact boss pedal ever made. But I've since sold off the stuff I didn't use, you know, just to keep things more compact. Haha. <laughs> All right. Going down here. There's a DST3, not to be confused with the two. There's also another DST2. The newest addition to my boss pedal collection is the SY1 synthesizer, which is an excellent pedal. Some standouts, of course, the HM2, which will soon at like I guess soon at some point be reissued by Boss in, in some form. PS3, PS2, and the enhancer. Uh, and then here's my little, I like to collect kind of like boss memorabilia as well. So here's my kind of like plaque or something for five million units sold. Bottom shelf are some boxes and some of the larger pedals. Uh, I think most of those boxes are empty. Maybe the uh, PH1R I think is in there. RV3 is in that box. Uh, the... MT2W Waza Metal Zone. The extortion is so hot, in fact, that I must keep it in the box. It just, uh, you know, might cause havoc otherwise. Some standouts. Of course, the CE1. <clears throat> Hard to uh, compete with that. That bad boy. And I think this is in the sound wave. He's just kind of hanging out here. Um, got a little boss watch. Once again... Little boss odds and ends. I missed out on a uh, a boss like blimp to hang over this area, but my cat cats would have definitely gotten to that. RE20 and then the uh, RT20, both excellent pedals. Oh yeah, the MO2, one of my favorite, very favorite boss pedals and boss pedal paint jobs. And of course the Boss FA1 FET amp and the mascot amp. Here are the Boss foot pedals, or the sort of wah pedals I have. They're not all wah pedals, as I probably scratched the hell out of this, although it's already scratched. Rocker wah, I like this series, the uh, Rocker series. I also have the Rocker Distortion, and then the Rocker Volume is right here. So, that is that. That's kind of the Boss collection, minus what's on my pedal board. 
Speaking of pedal boards, we'll mosey on over here. Pardon the mess. So on my board, I have a, a DSD-2, actually two DSD-2s, the Boss uh, Chromatic Tuner, the Waza Chromatic Tuner. I have a vintage MXR Phase 45, which has been modified, not by me, but by some other person, and I bought it for cheap. Um, the Waza DC-2W, which is so good. In fact, I decided to keep this on the, on the board as opposed to the original one. They sound almost identical. I mean, you know, I did an extensive shootout and the difference is negligible in the words of Jerry Seinfeld. Uh, let's see. The, uh, the, 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 the Barber Super Sport, which is my favorite OD pedal. Sorry, sorry, boss pedals, but that's my favorite. And the Boss Parametric Equalizer, which I'm using for solos. Uh, granted, I'm not playing live at the moment because nobody is really. So this is sort of a, a relic hanging out here in the music room. So let's mosey on over, over to the non-boss area. This is where I keep my non-boss pedals. There aren't on any sort of board. As well as some old lunch boxes for some reason. That's a uh, lesson in packing a pedal correctly, that phase tone. Rest in peace. Okay. So here are the EHX pedals, the POG, and the Memory Man, my favorite uh, analog delay pedal. Freeze, Flip Vintage Tremolo by Guy Tone, great pedal. My Access Buffer, which is great for recording purposes or any sort of purposes where you need, need, need a split. I have a second. Super Sport, because I just needed the second one. Here are the Ibanez pedals. This is, pardon the lighting here, but um, standouts. They're all pretty cool. The Fat Cat I got for really cheap on eBay because it had some uh, obscenities written on it and spray painted. The Mostortion or Mostortion, the MOSFET one, which is kind of well-known. And my Vintage TS9, which I use a lot. Great, great, great pedal. Oh, there's another Ibanez pedal. Another TS9. Or, I'm sorry, the TS5, I think. And FET preamp. EP pre, which started the EP Echoplex booster preamp thing. Um, I have two Dynacomps. One is modded. One is original in the box. My favorite face pedal, the Face 45. I have three of them for some reason. Um... One script, and oh, I, I didn't realize that. I guess it was modded with a power jack, but uh, pretty cool. A block letter, non modified, a distortion plus, the uh, distortion plus that would be gross, and a phase 90. In fact, two of them, one that has been rehoused on the right. So, once again, purchase it like that. At the bottom, just some odds and ends. Another buffer by Axis Electronics, who no longer exists. And I guess that's probably it, right? And I guess we'll end with a, a cute little pedal that happens to match this Dan Electro guitar. This is the AYA Comp. Really great compressor. Kind of goes with that C theme. Anyway, guys, I want to appreciate you. Uh, I appreciate you watching this video. This was done in one take, no editing, because I don't got time for that editing stuff anymore. Just trying to have fun. Hope you guys are doing great. If you want to see some more videos, leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see. We'll check you guys out soon.